Hey everyone, welcome to Nick Next Corner. I'm Nick, you're in my corner. Today we're going to talk about The Stand um, by Stephen King. This book is a chunker. It was really, really good. Uh, I gave it a 4 out of 5 uh, because it's length. It, You know, the book is really great. And there's nothing in there that is filler. Everything in there is in there for a reason. However, I do feel like you could cut a chunk of it out, which is what the original book was, and uh, you could probably get away with that, and it's still being just as good of a story. Uh, the story was quite phenomenal, very dark. I seriously thought King was going to go one way with it at the end, and he went for a more conventional happy ending um which was interesting a very interesting uh way to do things for him i really enjoyed what he did it was a great story of a lot of characters this is probably one of his most convoluted books i have read it has a bunch of different storylines going on a bunch of different characters they converge on each other they split apart converge it's really good I've heard tell that Stephen King said he wanted to write The Lord of the Rings in America, in an American setting, and I think he successfully did so. Um, would I compare this to Lord of the Rings? No. But um, I, I can see where he's coming from with what he wanted to do for that. Because it's definitely a story about adventure. He does an amazing job at building the characters, developing them, and giving you a way to go with them. We get to meet Randall Flagg, which is someone who I've been told to look out for in Stephen King novels, as he is a multiverse character. Um... He was very interesting. I really enjoyed all the parts that had him in it. And uh, and am looking forward to seeing him more in other works of King. Uh, so basically, a super flu takes over and kills off 99% of the world. And actually, I think it's like 99 point something. But yeah, 99% of the world and the rest of the people are immune. Um basically you get sick with it you think you have the flu you go and lay down in 24 hours you're dead um it's very interesting um i we decided to read this because of current events that are going on right now and there are a lot of things that'll make you raise your eyebrow in this book with what's going on today you'll sit there and you'll read a passage and go that just happened last week <laughs> it's uh the what we have going on in real life right now is not nearly as deadly as what happened in this book but there are still ebbs and flows in it that make it seem realistic to what's going on in the world today and that is what was very interesting about it one of the things that pushed me forward into reading it um i think i did it within about five to six days when i read this book um which is pretty good I tried, like, I've been trying to do 200 pages a day. It's like four hours of reading. So I, I've been trying to keep up to date on everything that's going on with the, the book. Um, and I've also been trying to keep up on my reading schedule. I, uh, like I said, I really enjoyed this one. A lot. Of, it's a lot of people's favorite Stephen King novel. And I can see why. It's very well done. It's very well written. It's not your typical horror story. Um, it's just really a dark setting as opposed to a horror story. It's more dystopian, I would think, or um, apocalyptic, I guess. Because it's about rebuilding society after shit hits the fan. And uh, it's a very interesting story. So I, I think that this is something that... Um, takes the cake for Stephen King. I see why a lot of people think it's his best. I still feel after reading this that The Shining was the best one I've read. It's the one that kind of made me go, I want more. You can't give me enough. Uh, so there is that. 
Um, Stephen King is an amazing writer, and I mean, if you're looking for uh, entertainment, he is bar none the best entertainer in uh, writing, in my opinion. Um, every book I've read by him so far, and mind you, I've cherry picked his best ones. Um, have been very entertaining, very engrossing. They grab you and pull you right into the story. And they're just very, very interesting books. He is a one-of-a-kind writer that I don't think I gave enough credit to in the earlier years of reading, of my reading. Uh, so it's something that I really love, and I am looking forward to more of his work. So I think that's where I'm going to leave that. I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini review and I hope that some of you will pick up the stand. It's a great read, uh, especially with current events. Anyway guys, you have a wonderful day and thank you for coming to the corner.